orders are as follows. Good morning, guys. So welcome back to our Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. Where, yes, I use some of the potions on uh, my characters because I don't know if we're gonna have a fight soon. Also, I swapped uh, Jahira for Will. Reason being, I don't have anything for Jahira for now until we reach Lower City, by the way she says it. And we do have only, what was it, for Kalak to confront Gortash. And while I was actually rearranging a bit my inventory, I still haven't rearranged the item situation. So maybe another time, because funny enough, this took me like around 15 minutes to decide which and where to rearrange, move scrolls around, organize a bit more to have like the scrolls in one pack, so to speak, in one line. So I don't have to look like, oh, I have a scroll here, then a potion, an elixir, whatnot. Still is not 100% fully rearranged, but I'm getting there, <laughs> so to speak. And... For the next part, uh, okay, Kalak makes sense because we have quests with her. And Will, I decided to take him because while I was arranging here, you know, there's like characters speaking in the back. I heard the mention of Duke Ravengard, Will's father. And I said, okay, hold up. That kind of makes sense to have Will as well because it's the coronation of Gortash or whatever is going to happen. And maybe... Ravenguard, Will's father, is gonna be there as well, present. So I'm thinking maybe have Will present as well. And the only one that you could think about it that it's an extra is Gale. Yes and no, because maybe we can find some information about the crown, which Gale is interested in. So all these three characters kind of have or potentially can have something interesting to say here at the coronation. Also now I'm noticing I'm close to level 11 soon. So yeah, of the gate. we'll see how it goes. Ah, so everybody has range. Gale has a lot of items as well. Again, this in case he gets hungry to have something for him. But yeah, I'll have to see. I'll have to double check which items I'm probably gonna sell or see if there's any combination of the items with what I have now and all that, but that's gonna take quite a while. I don't know, I need to search for a crossbow or range weapon for Gale. And yeah, for real, real as well. Anywho, let's enter on the right and see what's gonna happen. Oh, guess who's here? Mizora as well. <laughs> so, yeah, having Will is perfect. Who else is here? Lady Dorinbold, Oberon, Waiter James. What happens next is out of our hands. Then the cook. Aha, uh -huh. and this is audience soul. Right. So I'm glad I have Will with me then. <laughs> did not did not count on Mizora. It isn't little Will. Straight to your handler. And I didn't even have to whistle. Mizora, I've had enough. You owe your life to me. Time to end the pact. Feeling cheeky, are we? Most unbecoming. Heard about your father. The Absolute's puppet. A damned travesty, if you ask me. He's upstairs in Worm's Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid party, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. No, can we talk more now? Okay, his quest got updated as well. If I'm Mizora... She insisted. Oh, wonderful. Right. <sighs> Look, I'm all for Gortash, but those clankers, they don't sit right with me. Because they do your job better than you and without complaining. <laughs> it is unnerving. Imagine where we'd be without them. The city would be overrun. 
They're all that's keeping this cult at bay. He has a point. They make people feel safe, if nothing else. Ha! You hear this? Tell my friends how safe you feel with those metal giants stamping about. <laughs> uh... Well, I've seen the Absolute's army. No, nobody's safe. Still, what or not? To be honest. All right. No need to kill the mood. God, Snop. You sure can pick him. I mean, jokes aside. Yeah, and actually, oh, Gale approved of that. Magic. How's your approval? Quite high. Nice. What about the wheel? Oh, exceptional. And collect back to 100%. Nice. So all the group that I have here is really happy. Anything else we can talk, talk about? Lady Arlia says jump, and I jump. That's the way of things. So what about you, Shattershield attendant? Lord Shattershield says Gortash won't be letting outsiders in. Good thinking, you ask me. Well, I am going inside though, so... Hell's hallows. The ceremony's gone on for days, seems like. Moving in. Okay, uh, let's see with the waiter, because... Sorry, sorry, these jukes are working me to the bone. Uh, are you the only one here, then? The hell? Guys, come on. Oh, there's a lever here. Yoink, let's move that one. What did it open? Oh, oh, this way. I see. And then we can go climb down and then crux to the wall to the prison. All right. Nice. Okay. A side entrance, if need be. A wooden chest over there, which I'm itching to if check. Anyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. And unfortunately, you don't have anything interesting. I have a feeling most of this stuff is gonna be camp supplies and whatnot. Hey, Master Porter, I've taken the liberty of. Oh, you are not the master. Just as well. Anything Please, else? you mustn't distract me. Okay, you're watching what? That should tell you something. What? Every juice. Be sure we can talk more, Mizora. Come on. Go on up. Pay Gortash a visit. A fate to remember. I guarantee. A fate? As in F A T E or cause that said F E T E. Huh. You're free to explore. Within reason. Of course. Thank you. I shall. Doubt still watcher has anything Citizen, to say. You are being accompanied by a malfunctioning steel watcher. What? Please stand back. <laughs> uh, I think you have the wrong hunk of metal. Oh. False. Report your purpose, steel watcher. Why are you following these citizens unbidden? Ah. I understand your malfunction. Your unit is a highly outdated model. The Ragnax casement protecting your metallurgized ice valves is burning well outside the recommended temperature. Please report to the Steel Watch Foundry for dismantling. Where is this Steel Watch Foundry? The Steel Watch Foundry is off limits to visitors. This malfunctioning unit can escort itself back. Well, this malfunctioning unit, quote unquote, doesn't know what it is. That's what I'm asking. God. Okay, same thing Damon said. Do you, do you know how to fix the engine? <sighs> yeah. Hey, Metal Man, if I report to this foundry, can my engine be fixed? Your make is very obsolete. Repairing your engine would be not only impractical, but impossible. 
Report to the Steel Watch Foundry for immediate dismantling. Yeah, yeah. Tell me something I don't know. But why does it think you're one of them? Except for the engine. Not sure. Maybe whatever keeps them going is similar to my tin can. Turns out I'm the fucking prototype for these things. I'll dismantle every single one of them. Any threat to the Steel Watch is a threat to Lord Gortash himself. Please report to the Steel Watch Foundry for immediate dismantling. What can you tell us about Gortash? Yeah. Anything spicy you can tell me about the old prick? You will speak of our creator, Lord Enver Gortash, with respect. He is the savior of our city, currently being inducted as the Archduke of Baldur's Gate. You will keep your distance, Steel Watcher. You are malfunctioning. Report to the Steel Watch Foundry for immediate dismantling. Let's make tracks before this thing gives me the lash of Bane. See you around, soldier. Okay. Nice. Another conversation I did not expect. Right, what about you guys? Cult army on the march, killer on the loose. And Mistress Dorenbold still drags me hither and thither. You hear? My lady says Absolute's army's on the march. There's watchers. We'll hold the line. You best believe. Ah, a bit of hesitation over there. Mm, some... Not sure you are very confident in that thing. Head up, chest out. Lord Portier could descend any moment. Yeah, you do that. Lord, Archduke, God. <laughs> I'll call Gortash what he wants. As long as Lord Chatshield pays me for all this waiting around. Alright, is this... See, if I go up, I can probably jump up here. Is there anything else? Or I can jump up. Jump up here, but then what for? I don't think it's anything of interest up there. Okay, the cook. Bruff's babbling, no time to talk. Okay. You might want to get more waiters. Like, come on, you only have one guy. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Okay, so, yes, we go in. I hope you're gonna let me go with Karlak, right? Good journals updated. What about the steel watch? Okay. I need to deal with the metal things. Gotcha. This is to go up. No, 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 no. You're considered that trespassing if I open that. Gotcha. Big day, big day. Can hardly contain myself. Then contain yourself, soldier. Attendant. All the lords. Not seeing Raven Guard just yet. I'm assuming he's gonna be the one uh, don't putting like the, the look crown. Don't like the this fellow. But don't you tell him I said that. Just soldier, servant. Yeah, there's Will's father. You know what? Right down the middle. We go. <laughs> I doubt I can talk with everybody. Assuming once I get too close. Yeah, there Kins we go. Kins people, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravengar. Thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him. Gortash. <sighs> this is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. My father's here, Karlak. Cool your fires. He must not come to harm. 
Yep. But yeah, I couldn't stand to see the Steel Watch get their hands on you. Let's wait for a more opportune moment. It's like too many people around here. I don't want to put you in harm's way either. I'll wait for now. But that prick is going to pay. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Carlag, come and say a proper hello. My respects? You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up your... Ah, how I've missed your <laughs> colorful turns of phrase. We must catch up just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. Oh, I thought we were about the to quakes fight. are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. That prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I come to an understanding. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. Well, why is the crown failing? It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. I know the if mm, Kalek won't like it, but I'm just curious. What well, what's his part? Like, what does he want to make the deal? There's an old wisdom: a brittle alliance can never be mended; it can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Neverstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. What are you getting at? Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. Mm, true. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. So you want me to believe you mean no harm to the city? I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Oh. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. And my father? Your father will do whatever you command him to. Like any other subject in our kingdom. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. Indeed, that's what I was hmm. thinking. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog.
Mm, I do have an insight. Because if the Steel Watchers are not going to be hostile, well, most of the times, because I'm assuming if I do some shenanigans, they might turn hostile. But having a bit of leeway around the city could be great. So, let's do an insight. It's a 15. Oh, okay. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. Hmm. Sure, for now. I mean, I can still hopefully betray him. Uh, because I need to get his nether stone. I doubt he's just gonna give it to me. So yeah, my word is my bond, Gorthash. We shall be allies, and Orange shall be dead. Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. I, Lord Enver Gortash, swear I shall do you no harm. We will rise together over Toriel as a roaring sun. This isn't going to end well. Mark my words. I know. I understand your concerns, my old friend. But allow me to demonstrate why you made the right choice. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter. A faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. Take that with a grain of salt. This is Gortash we're talking to. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Oh, it's, so it's literally Orin. Oh, or not. Is it? Is this a question about the camp or per general how to find Orin? Because from all the people that are at the camp right now, well, I don't have Yena, which I'm still suspicious. And she was saying like, oh, I brought my knife uh, and pretty sure I'm going to make something good and you know, all that. But does that this mean it's Orin it's herself in the camp? Or just a random doppelganger and whatnot. But yeah, how am I supposed to find Orin if she can change her form so easily? Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is. Where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers, when she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. Okay, so investigate the murders is... I mean, it's already related. So... What was the plan, actually? You are in Cassidy and the brain. First, or in the red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. And where in the nine hells did you find a powerful artifact like the crown? Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. Hmm. 
powerful connections. Interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking is Raphael more involved in this than he lets on? I wonder. Because Raphael is interested in the crown as well. Did at least, I don't know, maybe Gortash made a deal with Raphael or some other devil? And yeah, so begins your tyranny because he just said like, oh, I, uh, I mean, we, we can uh, instill a curfew and whatnot. Huh. Also, I'm starting to see this guy more and more as the character he played in Harry Potter. Sure thing, Malfoy, sure thing. Because I know he's the same actor that played Lucius, so... Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we had J. Jonah, which we got rid of him in... Uh... God damn, I forgot his name. Uh, J.K. Simmons, damn it, yeah. He was Catholic, and now we have freaking Luci Lucius Malf Malfoy over here. Uh, yeah, so begins your tyranny. Our tyranny? And we are saviors. Defenders of the Sword Coast, our loyal subjects will love us, not hate us. What comes next will be entirely their fault. Right. Cool, I've heard enough. Am I free to go? Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Fine, let's get it over with. You will follow me and you will show due respect. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Interesting, nothing from Gale. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent? I'm gonna say nothing. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you. Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty handed. Oh. Well, this game is inspired. Yes, Kalek is gonna be pissed, sure. But, okay. Propose uh, a pact. Consider his bargain, sure. Besides the type of bow. We have getting in. Blade of Frontiers, we should return to Mizora. Right, there's a lot of people around here to talk. Okay, that's taking me down. Okay, let's start with the guest. Archduke Gortash. Now there's a man who knows good business. A leader with some charisma. Ravenguard was quite the dullard. Oh, you're gonna be the first to go. 
You hear that wheel? They call their father a dollard. Okay, let's go with the right side. I'm assuming... Ah, oh, wait, Fetch is he still... Bottle. Yeah, he's still here. Out. Okay. Well, yeah, let's do the right side. Once, of, my lady. Mm, let's see, most of them will have one thing to say only. Made Archduke of Baldur's Gate. I never thought I'd see the day. There's hope yet, yeah. What are they thinking? Giving a fellow like that such power? I give him a year at most. Oh, believe me, it's not, not gonna be a month. <laughs> a good leader knows when to step aside. Raven Guard did the right thing. Uh, okay, not everybody is a lord over here. So it's not exactly talk with everybody. I am at my lady's service and hers alone. Okay. The city is only as strong as its walls. Gortash understands this. The absolute blight will be a hard one to cure. Gortash is the Archduke for the job. If you say so. Okay, Lord Sarkin. Under Gortash, we're safe. More to the point, my fortunes are safe. Ah, okay, right. So you're one of those. Gotcha. Uh, Freda, Obron. Ravenguard freed from the Hells. Archduke Gortash secures our borders. Baldur's Gate's future is bright indeed. Mm, eh, it's not gonna be that bright with him, trust me. Not for long. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing else. <laughs> Away, if you please. I am here at the service of Lady Birch. Lady Birch, did they? Ah, for her. Gotcha. Okay. Right side, not so much. Uh, yeah, they're still in the middle. A couple of guys. Let's see with the left side. These to go outside, but maybe just to get that barrel? But I'm fine with it. Absolute army won't stand a chance. Gortash will crush them like roaches under his boot. Yeah, I doubt it. Hey, Lord Petrick Amber. Times of strife produce the finest leaders. Archduke Gortash will be no exception. Archduke? Quite something, don't you think? I dare say Baldurang himself would approve. Uh, Lady Ailis. An historic day. The city's first Archduke. Oh, so it is the first one. Okay. Well, at least that's that. Uh, Maya Ravenshade. Thank the living gods. Gortash is here to protect us. If you only knew. Okay. Raylan. Finally, a leader worthy of this city. You're telling me Will's father was really not that revered? Come on. Hmm. Uh, ah, Putman Dino? I may speak only to my lord. Terribly sorry. Okay, fair enough. So is that... That's everyone on this side. Okay. Oh, actually, Handmaiden. You're what moving around. Good day to you. Good day to you as well. Okay, let's see in the middle. Randolph. With Gortash in charge, this city will thrive, as will we all, of course. Minstra. I hope the new Archduke throws more parties than Ravenguard. He was too serious for my liking. Yeah, I'm just tempted to just throw a bomb in the middle of all of this. Most of these guys don't care about the city. It's only their profits and whatnot. Archduke Gortash, man of the people. The right people. Oh, I'm about to throw down. An 
Archduke! Finally someone who can stand up to those wretched absolutists. Okay. What glory, our city. And what glory, its future. Holy shit, you look like a 2000 NPC. <laughs> I guess that he they said, ah, whatever. Let's make him as plain as possible. Ravenguard has not once failed this city. If he trusts Gortash, then so do I. The Steel Watch has made an impenetrable fortress out of the Sword Coast Crown Jewel. I can't think of a better endorsement for Gortash than that. Okay, so it's only Gortash and Ravenguard. Now I know I doubt that where's my party positioning, but let's just say we're a bit more isolated. Okay, Gail, do you have anything to say? If Gortash is to be believed, then even our camp isn't safe from Orin's influence. Oh, you might want yeah. to confirm the veracity of his claim, or at least clean up the mess. Okay, and then it's the normal conversation. Will? Unthinkable. To see my own father named Gortash, the sole ruler of Baldur's Gate. Please, we need to speak with him. Maybe, maybe he can see reason. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not sure how much we can talk with him, with Gortash next to him. An imposter in our camp. We must identify them, and quickly. Without trust, our fellowship is doomed to wither and die. Okay, uh, actually, again, do you have anything What's more? on your mind? No. Will? Well met. Okay, and... Carbe, yeah, I know, you're angry. You're gonna be angry, but hear me out. <sighs> he looks the exact same as he did ten years ago. Fancier coat, I suppose. <laughs> the Archduke of Baldur's Gate. What a sham. You don't really intend to be his ally, do you? Yeah, I thought it best to avoid making enemies just yet. Gortash is your enemy, either way. <sighs> this pact may delay the inevitable betrayal, but not by much. Maybe, but he had a pact with Catholic and Orin that he doesn't seem to have broken. Don't let him suck you in! Oh, he paints a pretty picture, then rips it to shreds right in front of your nose. I'll play along for now, but I'm not letting him slip out of reach. He's going to pay for what he did to me, one way or another. Yeah, okay. So she approved, which means the Making approval should be sweat. back up to 100. Because there was a disapprove at some point. At the ready. Gale, 79. I think Will as well, yeah. I saw some approval. And, well, Anything else called that? I mean, about the imposter. Soldier? Oh, nothing? Really? Okay. And move. That looks like... Ah, okay. That's how it was showing on the left. To confront. Gotcha. Because to go up was on the right, and then the map swapped around, so to speak. Uh, also, ah, this is Raphael's quest. I thought maybe it was regarding the murders. Okay, let's see with Will's, Will's fathers first. Truest of souls, bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Father, my dearest boy, the hells have touched you. 
But you've come to me just as Gortar said you would. A true soul, no less. Father and son. Unstoppable generals. You and your allies will usher in a new dawn. By the gods, what have they made of the city's great hero? What is a hero, if not an actor for the greater good? Faerun suffers in darkness. Tyr has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. Gortash and I will ignite the final spark, and that true soul is the greatest of goods no this isn't him this is the tadpole talking for a brief moment uncertainty clouds his mind then dissipates the astral prism vibrates in concord what nonsense is this I... the prism quivers once more raven guard falters as i said Baldur's gate will ascend Tyrell's first and only grand city. Yeah. Uh, had a feeling this is not him speaking. I mean, you can notice from the way he speaks, it's like very bland, like uh, very robotic. So, oh, okay, call on your tadpole. Let's explore his uncertainty. Oh, it's a tool. Sure, I'll give myself guidance. Don't have a lot of bonuses, but basically I need to roll a one to fail this. First comes a vision of terror, the city of Baldur's Gate taken by Elithids. But beyond the terror, there is hope. You see a beaming Raven Guard presiding over the sunlit city, applauded by the people. A people at peace. Raven God, the real Raven God, is in there somewhere. We can't give up on him. Have we finished then? A beaming Raven Guard. But it was not mentioned who. Is it him or Will? That is the question. Uh, yeah, I'm here to help you. Florix sent me. Help me? Ah, the Black Widow caught you in her web. Florix chose shadow over light. Her betrayal burned deeper than the fires of Avernus. She's been punished for her lies. I'm sorry? Don't let her get to you. I mean, punished. punished. Gods, what has he done? Okay, again, let's connect with his mind. Seek information about Floric. Speaking about rolling one. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Within Raven Guard's memories, you find Counselor Floric. She is confined in a cell right here in Worm's Rock. The sun rises, true soul. Are you ready? Okay. I guess uh, we're done here. And... The Counselor Floric. In the prison. Perfect. That uh, could be our next ex destination. Because I still haven't explored the prison. And I do have... Secondary entry to the prison. We can go through the front door. Again, I'll probably go th through the front door. Let's play along. And not uh, make a lot of trouble around. But this did not update. I need to go to Mizora. Hey, Will. Incredible. To hear my father's voice speak those words, like a stranger wrapped in his flesh. But there's still a glimmer of him in there, calling for release. I feel it. I know it. 
I won't let the Absolute keep him. This is my pledge. Hey, anything well else? Met. Right. Uh, Ghost Dash. I have the quest for answer for you. Okay. Dearest Karlak, I'd busy myself finding Orin if I were you. I'll still be here for any unfinished business once you've secured your camp. Well, that's it. That's all you have to say to me. Were you hoping for something else? A word of wisdom? A hug? Thanks to you, I don't hope for things anymore. I just take whatever it is I want. See you soon, motherfucker. You most certainly will. Damn. <laughs> uh... Kill Orin and take her Netherstone. Find me in my office upstairs when it's done, and do not return until it is done. Let this be my one warning. You mean if I continue talking with you, you're gonna be angry about it? Okay, that is passing out <laughs> the objective for the Council of Flory. Let's see. Hey, this let's see with Mizora. So, what's this about? Oh, we have. What does it say? Zarya protection. Ah, when attacked, Mizora will disappear to the hells and return after one minute. Also, two quests updated. He disappeared after the ceremony. Ah, okay. But I already talked with him, so that's good. What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? Your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father relocated. Where have they taken him? To the slaughter, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's uh. no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. Oh, of course. Another deal. Have you seen the tieflings at the South Gate? <sighs> Wheel? Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Where do you think Gold has taken your father? I couldn't even fathom a guess. Though, I doubt we'll need to wait long for answers. Let's make camp when we're able. Mazora will be waiting. Until then, may my father keep safe, whatever coop he's been flown to. Hey. Wonderful. Important proposal, of course. Is this gonna be a long rest, or you can just pop in right we just go to camp manually and yeah no i don't imposter i brought my own paring knife now i just need some ingredients and i'm gonna make grub please okay something suspicious Uh, Kalak, anything else to say? Miss Zora, I take anything she says with a grain of salt. But with her claws as deep in our business as they are, I guess we can't ignore her completely. Yeah, unfortunately. Hey! Jahira? 
I had no wish to lose Will. But my, it would have been nice to flush her into the colony's flesh pit. Ah, <sighs> uh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> uh, I've had a lifetime's feel of watching little men buff themselves up with grand titles. I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. Yeah. We can't pick a fight while he's surrounded by his steel watch. We could. It would just be a very short one. True. <laughs> we cannot expect either of the Chosen to fall easily. But fall they must, if we are to have all three stones to command the brain. Still, if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash spoke of. Okay. She approved. And what do you think of this warning of the doppelganger in our camp? It would be irritatingly true to form. Would it not? Mm. A harper learns to doubt. To peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually you find what it is you fear. Whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then, that is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say, isn't it? True. Yes. Okay. Nothing else. Um, Lazel. Start from this side. A devil will come for her, Jew. Mizora is no different. Whatever it is she comes to offer, whatever choice Will makes, someone will suffer. Count on it. Right. Anything about the doppelganger? I'm listening. Nothing? Oh. I thought maybe it would be... It would say something. Right, Will, I don't think you have anything else. Right. Asterian. Are you an imposter? I don't relish the idea of Mizora visiting our camp, let alone offering us anything resembling a <laughs> deal. When the devils start approaching you, you know you're in deep. Indeed. Okay. You seem normal, I guess. Yes. But nothing regarding Doppelganger? Really, no comment yes. at all. No, I'm sus. <laughs> Share the heart. Will ought to know what happened with Mizora. Whatever she has in store for him can't be good. Well, don't worry, he already knows. I wasn't expecting it, but... I... No comment about Doppelganger. Come nice to song? bask in the glow of the... No, Isabel. Keeping very well, I hope. Okay. Gail, anything more? Whatever business Will has with Mazora, it will cost him dearly. Or worse still, it will cost us. I hope we can afford it. Uh, yeah, we'll see. What's on your mind? Doppelgangers. Nothing weird until now. Mazora schemes with Will's very freedom. He deserves to know what she is up to. Oakfather, preserve you. Right. Nobody else has anything to say. Okay. Well, unfortunately, not much. Well, we did not advance in exploring that much. We had uh, the exploration and whatnot. And I think we're going to be here for this episode. And we're going to try to deal with... Oh, where was the quest? Yeah, free console Floric. So we'll see how well we can do that one. Hoping if it comes to fighting, it's gonna be something similar with I don't know. How it was at Moonrise. 
like these guys to be fine with it and yeah i know we do have side exits if need be but then again i still need to go through here yeah so i'm hoping these guys are gonna be chill with me it won't happen i swear there. I mean, if I go inside here, everybody is going to be hostile. I'm sure of it. Transfer quest. I'm just trying to see if there's anything of interest. But yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here for this episode, and we'll continue next time, where we'll potentially have another prison break. But yeah, hopefully enjoy this episode, guys. But as always, don't forget to take care.